Hey, good morning. Welcome back to yet another video with me. Today I'm recording this video because I want to tell you that I just ordered something that I should have ordered two years ago with my first DSLR. It should be here soon. <gasps> Okay, let's just jump into the story. When I started vlogging, I just bought one of these bandy tripods, which, which bends. And this is amazing with your kit lenses. But as soon as you want to upgrade your camera bag and you want to buy some heavier glasses, this will not hold your camera. So about a year ago I felt this urge to buy a normal size huge tripod. I only took my shoes and I ran out to the closest Walmart and Best Buy. My intention was to try out both tripods and keep the good one and return the other. Of course, I broke one of them the first week. And the second one is still here. It's here, but it's just not working properly anymore. It's... This should go back. So for this reason, I just dived into the endless river of the Google searches and I tried to figure out which tripod is the best and biggest bang for my buck. Just like everybody else, I wanted to buy something that it's good, will last, and is cheap. There's no such a thing on today's market, so I just started to check out this well-known Italian, Italian camera support company. Manfrotto! Manfrotto! I was looking for a tripod that is small enough to pack it up in a bag, and it's just tall enough to have my camera on eye level, you know, during these one-in-one -one sessions. And I found this Manfrotto Element Traveler on Amazon. Manfrotto! This was about 150 bucks, so I was like, I can find better. Then I realized that the Prima Photo Traveler Big is basically the same exact product. And it's actually pricier than the freaking Manfrotto. After I realized that the price is the same, the product is the same, the reviews are the same, I just got confused. Which one is better for the same exact price? Is this the same exact product? What's the catch here? And the answers to this question were just not enough for me. I started to look into more products from this company. A lot of products are exactly the same. The products from Memphoto are exactly the same as the Prima Photo, and both of these are exactly the same as the Mi Photo. That's a fucking triangle. Illuminati? <laughs> And yes, I did my homework. After surfing on the internet, I realized that the owner company for all these smaller companies is the same. It's the Vitek Group PLC. So yes, you're buying the same tripod from all three of these companies. Is this a business marketing trick? Is this just my conspiracy theory? Well, tell me your opinion in the comment section below. This realization made my choice a lot easier because I had more products to choose from. So I went up to all these used product selling websites. I found nothing until, until I went back on Amazon. I clicked on the new and used items and I chose the blue tripod and ching ching for only 33% of the original price, which is 50 bucks. So I'm a new lucky owner of a Prima Photo Manfrotto Mi Photo tripod. And until now, until now, I cannot say anything bad about this. It's solid, it's not too heavy, it's not pricey at all if you can find a good deal. And if you can see me in a year using the same exact product, then go ahead and just purchase it. I can kind of see you still staring at me with open mouth and you're like, hmm, why would I buy a freaking tripod? So here, please don't be like me two years ago. I just wanted to run around with a bendy tripod like Casey Neistat. And if you just want to do this, then fine. But mainly you're here to create. You want to try new things and you want to be professional. In this case, my friend, you will need a tripod. And eventually, even Casey has a normal sized huge tripod. So just to push you out from your bubble, I will give you 10 plus 1 examples where can you use a tripod. A normal sized tripod. 10 examples plus 1. A lot of these are pretty similar, but these are all different techniques. Long exposure photo, when you leave your camera out so you can have those noodle style lights on your picture. Telephoto, when your lens is just too big and you cannot hold that lens without shaking hands. <laughs> Sport photography, you're still using the long lens. Astrophotography, when you need to leave your camera outside to catch all those starlights, it takes time. HDR photography along with landscapes. Low light photography. It's pretty similar to the long exposure photo, but if you don't have a professional camera and if you don't have too much money for fast lenses, then 
you better use a tripod. Time lapses! Mainly all of Casey's time lapses are recorded with a camera or a tripod. You will need a tripod even if you just want to walk away from your camera, so you can get a better variety of videos of, of yourself. And you know, there is a photographer and videographer stereotyping. All of the professionals are walking around with a tripod, with a camera and a huge lens. And this is not really important on YouTube, but trust me, some potential customers will take you more seriously. And all in all, your bag will be about 2 pounds heavier, but at the end of the day, you will be a lot more flexible. Because you can actually rely on this tripod and you can trust it. You know that this will not fall over with your expensive lenses and camera just like a, just like a bendy tripod would. So now that I covered everything, it's time for me to edit this video and uh, that's all for today. So if you like this video, well it's good for you. See you in the next video, bye bye! It's raining, I cannot record, because it's noisy. I planned out to record this video in my spare time. And it's always raining in my spare time. Can I even finish this video? What? Oh my... Vlog 70 something. I'm still lost in the universe. Please just save me. <laughs> my frotto! My tripod looks like my pizza! <laughs>